Divas and Devos. It's your girl April. So you guys already know what time it is. This is going to be a review. I actually did show this website in a recent Real Talk video, which is called Eve's Vanity. And they sent me a, a really nice package, really well wrapped. This is their packaging box totally cute you can make something out of this craft it and it did come with a bunch of amenities which I will show you guys again they did provide me with two 20 inches and an 18 inch bundles of their um, Brazilian straight hair and their 16 inch it does say transparent lace closure um, also they do have like I said really great packaging um, they do send you hair care instructions this is the packaging that I got also these are wig caps in here they send two um, I didn't use them because I'm so used to using what I use but they will come in handy and I do think that a time and effort a lot of time and effort was put into the packaging and care of this box I also did get a blondish color one and then I also did get some packaging with a pair of scissors, some elastic, a needle, and some weaving thread. The packaging is really, really nice and really sleek. A lot of time went into this, and a lot of people are like really drawn to packaging. Like some people love packaging. Uh, me per se, it's kind of like I do and I don't, you know what I'm saying? It all depends if it's something that I keep, like I guess if it's the decor, then I'm definitely into the packaging. So I made this unit and I did wash it last night. Now the closure is really good. It is kind of like a really light color. The the knots look the bleach on it, but of course, you know, I did go ahead and tweeze them a little bit into a middle part. And for it to be three bundles, normally I do more because it's straight, but I actually only did like two and three quarters, which is great because it's longer, the wefts are longer. But the one thing that I wasn't too pleased with, I really did think because I looked at the packaging that I really thought that the hair was going to be like amazing. So as you guys know, every opinion of mine is my own opinion. And maybe sometimes it may be a little bit opinionated, but it's how I honestly feel. But I think that the hair to me is more or less not really like the best hair in the world. And I say this because I started noticing once I was done and I was flat ironing it, it just is really frizzy. It's kind of dry. But I did notice like all the little lints stuck in the hairs. Now, whatever I have gotten hair from like Chinese vendors, I've seen hair like the lint stuck on the hair. That means like it's like the really cheapest of the hair, okay? And then I have to stand here and pull this stuff out and then fight with the hair. Now, there are a whole lot of tiny little hairs on this thing. And on top of that, the closure has all these little short spots. Now, I'm not really sure if you can see that, um, but all these little short hairs on it and it sits right on the top which is so annoying because I have to take my hairspray and kind of like mat it down okay not a big deal so as I flat ironed it it did take me a little bit norm a longer because it wasn't as high luster as I would have thought it would be would I wear it like this definitely because it still is a decent unit but I do think that the quality of the hair is not like Okay, on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give this like a seven and a half to it. I would give it an eight, eight and a quarter, okay? Because I just think that the packaging is amazing and the hair is not that bad of a quality, but me personally, from working with so many different vendors and seeing so many different qualities of hair, I just know that when you have hair that has all those little lint balls stuck to it, that it ain't the best, okay? And then also with me, I have gotten really, really great straight hair. And it'll be so bone straight and so perfect that it just flows like mother nature. All right. I do like the closure or I like the transparency of the closure, um, but I'm not too keen on all those short chunks of hair. When I say short, meaning the chunks are not little. There's a lot of big short chunks of hair. But you know what? We're going to work this out to the best of our ability. So like I was saying, the company is Ease Vanity. And I just like to support any female company who is trying so hard. So, you know, with me being so opinionated and honest review, it just enables you to better yourself. So it's no bashing intended at all. I'm
Okay, so for the most part, I know y'all see me cheesing and I did have my, you know, disappointments. Um, it still is a gorgeous wig. <laughs> I mean, I'm not to my own horn, but I mean, it still is gorgeous hair. It just needs, you know, I think some things perfected. Like I don't really like those lint balls, but other than that, it still is like perfect hair. Now, normally my hair is way fuller than this, okay? Like I will double and fold the weft. I didn't do that this time. I just kind of like wanted it to be a little bit thinner because it's hot out here and wearing so much hair will kill a girl and I am really not trying to die from no hair but I like it because it's a decent length it's a decent density and it's good for this Arizona heat like I would definitely wear this I the way that I wear my wigs to make them look more natural I think like the wig grip band does help because your wig doesn't like slip back which is great as you can see right here I'm tugging on it so you can kind of like rest it behind your hairline a lot more I always take a tiny bit of my hair out and I will use Topic because it just helps a lot. It makes your hairline look natural. It helps the wig blend in. And always get you some good makeup concealer because it will always help as well. So, my trick to this is a little bit of tweezing, some um, hairspray, some Topic, a wig grip, and some combs. And girls, you'll be ready to go. She still is rather, rather cute. So definitely, in my opinion, I would definitely give them a try because they do have other hair. This may just be the start of something that they just perfected when they sent it to me. But I'm always going to give my honest opinion. I love their packaging and the amenities are amazing. And on that note, let me know what you think of this hair. Is she cute or what? Because at the end of the day, I still think she cute. I just think the quality needs to be improved a little bit more, especially for the packaging. Like, when you get packaging like this, honey, the, pa the hair needs to be, like, coming out the box talking about, what's up, girl? Okay, you guys, so I had to come back and give y'all a quick update on this hair from Eve's Vanity. Um, this is the first time I ever did this because after I did the video, I was in such a rush to leave. We went to Ikea and I decided to keep the wig on despite the heat. It wore very well. Okay, let me tell y'all this. So the tangling in the back was so minimal. This is it. I didn't even brush it out yet. I wanted to take it right off and show you guys. So this is the tangling, very minimal, which is good. You're, going, you're always going to have a wig that tangles in the nape. So let's just get past that. It's always going to happen. But it wore really well. Like I like the density of it, though. I'm used to a little bit more hair. The density of the wig was actually really like natural looking, okay? It wasn't too hot, it wasn't too heavy. It just wore really well um, despite the little tangles in it. It wore really well and it didn't even tangle. So I'm gonna give them that. The quality may not be uh, what I might have expected, but I will say this. The hair wore really well. So, yes, you can still check them out. Um, we had a really long day at Eve's, um, excuse me, at Eve's at Ikea. Um, I had to touch up my makeup a little bit. I kind of fell asleep on the couch when we came back with the wig on. And I never fall asleep with my wigs on. That, that goes to show and tell you that I was really tired because Ikea will have you drain. So, yes, you guys, I will post all their information below. I love so, on that note, I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up if you love me as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you in a soon-to-come video.